What a mess. I might have made it a bit messier for the drama. So I was asked to make some organizing baskets for the wardrobe, but what would really uh, solve my problems is something structured for inside the drawers, something like the Kallax divisions, something like that, because drawers get really messy and I would like them to be more organized because you can fit more stuff when everything is under control. I'm sure this uh, chest is from Ikea and I'm sure they have uh, their own set of baskets that fit in their own drawers so you have everything tidy. But maybe what you want to keep in the drawer is not the measurements uh, they have on the higher street. So that's the luxury of sewing, that you can make your own things, your own way, your own measurements and for what you need. So I'm quite pleased with that and it doesn't have to be difficult or expensive either. So let's do it. Of course, let's get things out of the way to put them a bit better later. I love sewing and sewing is not just for mending, upcycling, making clothes, it's for all of them and doing stuff for your home is really useful as well because you can, it can make your life easier on an everyday basis and you can personalize your home. So if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it and sewing is a, a whole thing so get into it. First things first, let's measure the inside of the drawer, which is 40, no, 84 centimeters wide by 43 centimeters, uh, well, back, yes, long and wide, really. And then it is 14 centimeters deep. So what I want to do, like the shelving unit back there, is to make like a structure to fit inside. So I'm going to, uh, I, I keep long trousers here and uh, pyjamas, but not shorts. So I want to put the shorts in here because when everything is tidy, you can fit more stuff there. I think I said it before, but um, all very Mary Kondo style folding situation. So. I'm going to do two long strips of long and short trousers and then the, the rest of the drawer I'm going to divide for uh, pyjamas. Long pyjamas and short pyjamas. So that's quite tidy, I think. And not only I'm going to make like the division, but if you don't put anything inside, they'll be quite flimsy and they'll end up not keeping its shape. So I'm going to use some hard cardboard that I'm going to be cutting with a knife probably because I don't think, well, like I did with the piñata, I don't think I can with scissors. So I'm going to be using that, but it's going to be pillowcase style so you can take it out if you need by any reason to wash it. You shouldn't need to wash it be, uh, too often because it's inside a drawer of clean clothes so but anyways if you want to wash it you have the possibility to do so so that's important as well draw on the floor let's start by cutting our fabric i'm going to be using this one because i have it i have to uh, use it up it's a sort of canvas from ikea from ages ago and i've made a lunch bag some sweetie bags and a uh, uh, a fun uh, case, a fun case. So let's use it up. I think I have enough. For what I think so mentally, which I always say that, uh, it's going to turn out great. <laughs> so let's see how I do. Because even though it's uh, a part, it's different parts of the same thing, I think I'm going to be able to sew it together later. So let's see how I do. Of course, I'm leaving seam allowance and for the flap, for the pillowcase tile, I'm going to leave four centimeters extra.
all these little bits we have left, we're not going to throw away. We keep them because we can use them for things like the fun case we did the other day. And then I have everything hemmed. The longest, one of the longest ones I had to uh, put together with two pieces because I didn't have enough fabric. And now what I'm going to do is like a pillowcase, I size together, I'm going to fold and then the other bit I'm going to fold in as well. So I make like my pillowcase and uh, sew it on the sides. So these are my little cases, they open a bit because they haven't, they aren't finished. So now what I need to do is to join them together. And to sew them together, I'm going to just open it like this and place them right sides together and that way I can sew along the seam. It doesn't matter, it doesn't need to get right to the corner if it's a bit uh, more difficult. Uh, as long as you sew it a bit and they stay together, they'll be fine. So this is my little panel of uh, shelving for the inside, the divider. So I didn't have any problems. It turned out and I sewed it right uh, like I thought I would. And now the problem is going to be cutting that thick cardboard. I'm here just because the pile of clothing is still there. So you don't see No tiene ninguna línea recta. y las partes que tienen cosida la solapa, lo que hacemos es cortar un poquito el cartón y así se mete en la solapa. And the parts where we have the others in, we just need to cut the cardboard a little bit so it goes in both sides. Like so. Good, eh? Here I am with my divider and I think it looks good. I'm quite happy. Uh, I had to take the cardboard out again because I didn't realize of the width of it and the middle ones were too long because of course it's at least one centimeter more because of the cardboard. So I had to cut that one centimeter. 
and then it's true that I ha I would have needed more uh, uh, fabric for the flap. So take that into account and don't take just four centimeters for the, pla the flap because it opens a bit. Take the double that, so it's nicer. So let's tidy up. Okay, this is our pyjamas. So this is, oh, it's heavy now, of course, I've been putting more stuff in here. Wow. So not only have I got here long trousers, and long pyjamas the rest of the trousers are in the washing because it's friday and it's been school so you know but i also got from another drawer all the shorts he has and all the short pyjamas so it's double the amount of stuff i had before in it so that's amazing sometimes we think oh i need more covers i need another chest of drawers because nothing fits anymore no maybe it's just because you have some stuff not properly arranged so um, it makes you think i think i'll be doing this all around the house and in the sewing room as well so let me know down in the comments what you thought if you like this idea if you have done it differently and don't forget to subscribe because i upload twice a week and that way you won't miss anything and i leave you here links for everything to do with little pieces um, around the you know, girl, come here, love. Ben? Come. Come. Stand, stand. Hmm. ¿Qué va? Esto ya no te sirve. A ver, a ver, qué camiseta es. Eh? This Marius. Mm. Mm. But I don't think it fits you anymore. Bueno, pues aprovechamos para limpieza de armario. Ay, ¿cómo crees? Por Dios. What are you doing? <laughs> Te invito a...